Hello everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Polyphonics Reviews. Wrong. Today, I'm not welcoming you to Polyphonics Reviews. Instead, today we are starting the first ever Polyphonics Winter Special. Now, you may ask, why is this video special? We're not going to review any CD, DVD whatsoever. I'm not gonna do that today, because today it's gonna be special, meaning different, right? Today I'm gonna show you my favorite live performances that can be found on YouTube, and I will list them for free in the description below. Let's get started. We're starting off with a performance that I have admired for years. Indeed, this is by far the most beautiful second movement of the Brockfighting Concerto that I have ever heard. This is by amazing violinist Isaac Perlman and you have no idea of how insane this actually is. Indeed, let me show you roughly a minute, I'd say, of what I mean. Quite honestly, it is ridiculous to pause a video in the middle of such a performance and as you can probably now relate to, this is really the best I could ever, you know, find online and in case you can't, let me tell you why. Mr. Perlman's phrases are so long and I think so well mixed in the orchestral chords. You know, when a certain harmony needs to shine, he doesn't only make it clear, but it shines with a color, with a timbre and with a warmth that I have personally never seen. The extraordinary theme of the concerto is in his version so beautiful because not only of course is it perfectly calibrated with the orchestra and is as I said so well mixed inside but at the same time it sticks out in a way. So that's very controversial I know but his melody you know isn't too loud but also not too quiet if you know what I'm saying. It is in that little space and in that little spectrum that I call perfect. Alright, next up we have Russian pianist Grigory Sokolov performing Beethoven's ninth piano sonata. Now, I've personally, uh, you know, gotten into Sokolov a lot after buying his newest or, yeah, his most recent visual album by Deutsche Grammophon that I, by the way, found absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna give my best to cover that in an episode of Polyphonics Reviews because I absolutely enjoy it. But for now, you know, I'd like to show you this E major sonata. Let's see what he delivers here.
Alright, what am I even supposed to say here? Everybody works on their phrasing, right? But here I can see such a meticulous work that I can see nowhere else and I absolutely love that work. Every note, every tone is worked on so precisely, it sounds everything else than improvised. Indeed, he knows what he is doing in every single second. And although the articulation is so great, by the way, the phrasing is always hearable. And I absolutely love that. Next up is pianist Vladimir Horowitz. Now, this clip is very, very, very famous. And I believe most of you guys will already know the clip. But let me introduce you to it. You know, there is this composer named Schumann, who we have, by the way, already featured in this channel, played by... Uh, Alexander Romanovsky, his sym symphonic etudes beautifully, link is up here. And he composed the Kinderszenen. Specifically, I like the Träumerei, and I believe pianist Vladimir Horowitz is by far the best interpreter of it. And this efficiency, in my opinion, is immensely beautiful. And every time I hear this, within the first seconds, my problems seem to go away and my heart just starts melting, basically. But I think that I'm way unqualified to even pronounce his name. So let's just show you what star pianist Marta Argerich thinks about Master Vladimir Horowitz. It's wonderful. It's merveilleux. La beauté à l'état pur. J'adore cette expressivité. J'adore sa façon d'interpréter Mozart aussi. J'aime tout ce qu'il fait. Je suis folle de lui, je l'ai toujours été. So you heard what she said. And also in the same video that I will, by the way, list you right here, that's Marta commenting on him. She says that pianist Friedrich Gulda actually told about him that he is an overgod. Now, pianist Friedrich Gulda is also one of my absolute favorites, and by the way, Marta Argerich's teacher. And in the part two of this video, we will actually feature him. So make sure to stay tuned for that one as well. And now to the next clip. This time we have amazing. Armenian violinist Sergei Kachatrian. And now, Sergei has always been one of my biggest idols and is a leader in the violin in his generation. Now, on YouTube you can find so much stuff played by him, which is beautiful, from Bach to Shostakovich or to Sibelius, like in this particular clip. Indeed, let's take a look at the third movement of this concerto. Let's see what he delivers. <laughs>
For me, this represents the ideal third movement of the concerto, you know, his sound is so powerful and so majestic, but his soft passages give an instant change of mood that I really appreciate. So let me tell you a little bit more about the artist. He is the youngest winner ever of the actually Sibelius violin competition. Indeed, he won it when he only had my age, 15 years old. He did also win the Queen Elizabeth competition and much, much more. And um, what I like, you know, a lot about him is that he plays a lot with his sister. You know, this family playing is one of my favorite things ever. For instance, in the competition, in the Queen Elizabeth competition, actually, they played the by far most beautiful interpretation of the Carmen fantasy that I have ever heard. And I will list it up here. And not only to get back to him, I do like his great technique, but most importantly, in my opinion, his great and deep imagination in general is fascinating. If you are, by the way, interested to see how the Armenian violinist played when he was only 16 years old, I found a rare clip of Professor Josef Rissin practicing with him the Carmen Fantasy and the Chausson Poem, um, which is also up here. By the way, speaking of Armenia, my deepest condolences to them. Indeed, you know, I think that Armenia deserves you to see what is happening right there, which is why I'm providing a link up here. Please check it out, you know, I think they deserve it, you know. This country full of talent had to, um, you know, get through this sorrow and, um, you know, just the current situation is just very tragic and since the artist is from there, I wanted to take a minute to talk about that. And speaking uh, of uh, Sergei Kachatrian and Armenia combined, I would also like to suggest you to go ahead and take a look at some works by Komitas, played by Sergei Kachatrian in Encores, filmed by Medici TV, can be found on YouTube as well. Um, very beautiful. Alright, and with the amazing Sergei, we actually end the part one of this video, which you are hopefully watching on Christmas. The part two is gonna be dropping on, you know, sometime in January, either to celebrate the beginning of 2021 or you know I'd rather say maybe to celebrate the end of 2020 but you know it's up to you how you want to see it I don't know and anyways I'm gonna announce the new series Polyphonics Reviews is gonna reveal um, soon so stay tuned on this channel because there is some good stuff coming up can I get one of those? what did you say? can I get one of those? the chocolate you know what? It's my last one. Okay, can we just share it?